Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new wine prefix. So those of you who don't know what a wine prefix is, here's what it is. It's the folder that houses all of your wine stuff. So by default, you have the wine, the wine folder, and that's the default wine prefix. So let me show you that. So this is the default wine prefix. It's got all the stuff that you need, the, dri the C drive, the registration stuff, the DOS devices. And for most people, this works fine, but you can actually use wine prefixes to set up special configurations. So say you set up one that's running in Windows 10 mode, and that's for a special program, and you have one running in Windows 98 mode, and so on, maybe 132-bit, 164-bit. So it's actually pretty useful and you can use it to create new ones. So let's create a generic wine prefix. And to do that, you need to do in a terminal, no, no root at all, just wine prefix equals followed by the new folder that you want it to be. And let's go new prefix. Now I'm calling it new prefix just because that's the generic example. And then wine CFG at the end. Now it's going to create the new configuration. As you see, the new prefix is right here, and you can name it whatever you'd like. But uh, then we see it'll open up here, and it's going to ask us to install a bunch of stuff. And this is because you're setting up a new prefix, so you'll need to set up the mono, uh, the wine mono installer, and all of that. And that's the new 64-bit prefix. That's just the standard. And uh, I'm going to let this go through, and then we'll talk about how to create 32-bit prefixes. So now that our new wine prefix is set up and ready to be used, we can go to the file manager and I can show you a little bit about it. Uh, and when it loads up, it'll show you the wine configuration app and you can change the settings of your prefix, how it loads graphics and all of that. But uh, the default wine prefix, or let me see, show hidden files, where's that option? So our new wine prefix, is right around here somewhere. I've got a lot of folders here, you guys. So here we go, here's the new prefix folder. And as you, as you can see, it's got a lot of different stuff, the drive C things, program files are empty and all of that. And we can use that and uh, we can run our games and our applications in it. And uh, just to get out of it, if you want to delete your new prefix, all you got to do is just do rm-rf and then the name of the folder, and that will delete the new prefix. So if you want to make a 32-bit wine prefix, and the reason you may want to do this is some games do not run very well in 64-bit mode. So what you do is you enter wine prefix and then the name of the folder. So let's call this one new prefix 32 bit. And uh, after that, you just do wine arch. This command will let you specify the, the uh, type of wine folder or bottle or prefix or whatever you want to call it. And this one will be put in win32. So win32. And this will make us a new 32-bit only wine prefix. And uh, startup as always, and we can configure it, do whatever we'd like with it. Change the graphics as always, and the folder, just like before, is right here with all of the information and all of that. And once again, you can delete it just with the rmrf command. So that's how you create new wine prefixes. I also showed you how to delete them on Linux with Wine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.